We're going to start with the nation. Why an NPCL filling stations adjusted prices by experts? Dangote refinery petrol ready for sale at fuel stations. Our reforms will lead to economic growth, says Tinumbu. Court orders arrest of Britain, others for alleged incitement of mutiny. Otedara hails Tinumbu on um, commencement of petrol production at the Dangote refinery. Ubumosha crisis. Monarchs have no authority to interfere in religious leadership. Okay, story. Uh, the Federal Court in Abuja has issued a warrant of arrest against a Briton, um, Andrew Martin Wine, a.k.a. Andrew Povich, and his alleged Nigerian accomplices, um, Lucky Ehiz Obion and Abdullahi Musa, for their alleged complicity in terrorism and related criminal activities. Um, they said the order for their arrest um, was issued yesterday um, after an application was filed by the IGP. They said um, they, they had declared them wanted following that, you know, that, the, uh, that these suspects also have been on the run since these accusations. Then um, they also said that um, the orders were required for security agencies to arrest the alleged fleeing suspects. So the question is wherever they are found, wherever you see that right. they are meant to be arrested, they are involved in conspiracy, treason, inciting to mutiny, inciting disaffection to government, terrorism amongst others and then we also have um, uh, a blogger I think it's what he's called he's accused of Tamuno Bifiri sorry I'm taking a while he was accused of mobilizing and soliciting aid to compel government to act or abstain from setting acts through end bad governance protests accused of money laundering allegations also against the President, so he's a self-acclaimed whistleblower, and um, he's been um, accused of, you know, all that I have mentioned. Okay. So they said cyber crime as well, engaging money laundering, lawfully, unlawfully obtaining, and retaining and disseminating right. classified secret documents. Okay. Yeah. So in Obomosho, there's been slight. Um, the chief imam crisis has been ongoing. The Olubon of Orile Igbon, Oba Francis Alawo, has um, thrown his weight behind the chief imam of Ubomosho, Yunu Sayilara. He said that um, the traditional rulers have, do not have a right to interfere with any religious leader. And this is coming on the back of the fact that the Shamu of Ubomosho, Oba Gandhi Olawi, at last Friday, appointed Ailara as chief imam um, at his palace and they felt this was a move to sort of um, according to them it's a move interpreted within the islamic community in the town to replace him as the chief imam even though he was just appointed mm. so there was a letter and there's been controversy that the shawu has no um, right to do this now because the shawu is obviously was a pastor is a known christian so anything seen can be uh, misinterpreted in multiple ways. The Muslim rights concern, Murik, criticized the Shomu's move, describing it as subterfuge to weaken Islam in a stratagem to enslave Muslims and all of that. So the Oba is saying, Let's just, don't just put another Oba with um, the Orile Gomu I said, don't just get involved. Traditional rulers shouldn't get involved in anything that has to do with religious leaders and who gets appointed as a religious right. leader within That's the community. Nice. Okay, the yeah, so I have the story of the Dangote refinery petrol ready for sale or four stations. They said the Dangote refinery rolled out petrol from its plant yesterday. They said Nigerians will be able to buy product produced by the firm from tomorrow. <clears throat> they said the vice president of the oil and gas at Dangote, um, Mr. Edwin, and group commercial operations director, Hajia Fatima Aliko Dangote, and the Dangote himself expressed gratitude to Nigerians for their support and praised uh, the president for fostering an environment that made the successful launch of the 650,000 barrels per day refinery possible. Um, they said this is a great moment for them because Nigeria has not produced petrol or gasoline for many years. They said this development will provide energy for our nation's growth, development, and prosperity. And then Nidan Gute said, I want to personally thank Mr. President for introducing the concept of Naira for crude and Naira for products. This, initi this initiative will bring much needed stability to the Naira by reducing the demand for dollars in the market for, by 40%, which will help stabilize the exchange rate. Okay. So hopefully we should get the mm. petroleum stations. The spread. punch. Labor demands reversal set to meet, as, uh, according to 
the punch and uh, referring to the petrol price hike. Fleeing Botok enlargement doctor now in custody, says Lagos police. 34 Yubi villagers killed by Boko Haram get mass burial. Uh, power generation hits 5,313 megawatts, first time in three years. PDP governors knock Wiki, say Fubara, Rivers Party leader. And hunger protests, police squeeze staff of Wanted Britain. Okay, which story are we taking? No fewer than 34 Yobe villagers were killed Sunday by Boko Haram terrorists in Mafa village. And they've been given, and they were given a mass burial on Tuesday. Um, the villagers said, according to the villagers, they said there were over 100 persons killed. Uh, but the state government says the casualty figure was 34. So the dead bodies were recovered in a search and rescue operation. It was led by the Nigerian army and supported by lo local vigilantes. So where government is saying casualty figure is 34, uh, we have villagers claiming that 86 dead bodies were recovered in the surrounding wow. communities. Um, the bodies were prepared for burial by volunteers of the Nigerian Red um, Cross Society. The police have also said that they are yet to ascertain the exact numbers of lives that were lost in the incident. So this happened Sunday at 4 p.m. Uh, investigation is ongoing. The deputy governor of the state uh, went to the community. He donated 30 million naira to the families of the victim. They said the governor also was truly devastated by the incident and he had gone on, you know, to meet with the um, chief of defense staff over sustainable security in the community. And uh, yes, yeah. the conversation continues. Yet it another a attack. Let me talk about uh, BK and the governor. So the PDP governors yesterday lambasted the minister of the FCT in his wiki over his threat to destabilize their state if they continue to support the River State governor, uh, Fubara, Simi Fubara. The governor's response was contained in the statement yet on Tuesday, um, yesterday by the, I think, the director general of the PDP governor's forum, that's um, Emmanuel Agbo. Uh, the, uh, according to the, to the Punch report, um, the political strife between Wiki and his predecessor and estranged political godson Fubara rages on as the PDP governors at their recent meeting declare support for Fubara and are displeased by the governor's support for Fubara. Wiki had told them that if they don't stop, that he has wondered that he could orchestrate crisis in their state if they would not desist from that support. However, the PDP governors responded to Wiki saying that all his threats are empty and that uh, no, he can't do anything about it. So the, the the, the issues are ongoing. I know that today is Wednesday. It's supposed to be the committee for the National Working Committee of the PDP. So we'll see what happens at the end of today. But um, let me go on a short break. When we come back, we'll continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 